Hi everyone and welcome to my first speed tutorial. I'm going to show creating process of this design and explain every steps and techniques that I used. Hope it's going to help. The first step I did is choosing a background. I usually like to put a black to a lighter black color gradient to simulate the light that comes from the middle of the picture. Now that I had my background, I did the base of the design which is a render and some lights to help the render blend into the background. So to do it, basically I took the brush tool and I did a big blue light behind the render and a white one in front of it and I lowered the opacity. I also added a shadow behind the render to look like if there was a floor and some lights and shadow on a clipping mask linked to the character to make lights more realistic. Oh, and I erased a base corner of the brush and the handlers to make them blend better. The third part was just adding content, because as we can see the logo is overall a bit empty. To do that I used some graphics packs to search for cool stuff, but you can still use brushes, pictures or just whatever you like. For this part I found my happiness with Jelly Brushes pack, link in description. I never really used to paint things like I did, it was just to try but at the end I think it looked good. From now I just try to blend the paint effect with the background. At this point I had a solid base and the only goal was adding details. I was looking for filters, effects, oracles, textures, anything that could improve my design. I found interesting stuff in the jelly pack and in the sky pack and I tried for the first time Oregon's pack which ended up being really good. There's a link for every pack in the description. And to finish with this design, let's go for the final part. So this part is just adding whatever things to finally improve your design. It's all about your experience, it means that in this part you can add stuff that you did in other designs and you would like to do again, trying to do reproduce your own mistakes or just adding things that you forgot. There I added CCs which are useful to improve the colors. Um, you can use a jelly brush CC like me and try to tweak its properties a bit. But you also can use plugins to help you with that or even colors modification option directly with Photoshop. And I put a text that I divided in two parts like I did in an older design and here we go, I have my design. <laughs> 